All right, so here I have a Chevy Cruze 2015. Um, basically, the car is overheated. Um, so right now, I don't know if you heard, the fans kind of kicked on the high speed. But as you can kind of see right here, um, give it about maybe a few more seconds, and then this will start climbing. Now, the customer's complaint, um, basically overheating. And then um, also another thing is, too, I have the heater on. But I have it on a low speed so you guys don't get the fan noise. And I'm not feeling any heat. So obviously now we got air in the system. Um, so obviously either it's a circulation problem or we're low on coolant. But I just kind of want to show you this setup once it starts going up. All right, there we go. So it's starting to pick up right now. So it's, as you can see, it's starting to go up. So I'll wait for, usually for these guys, for most of the newer Chevys, they'll stay at the, between the middle. Um, so of the, of the quarter and then the half, they will stay at that little, uh, the middle of it right there. So kind of where my, the middle of my finger is at right there. So that's where it would normally stay at. But again, so this is basically we have an overheating issue. Um, so I have my hands right here. I'm not feeling any hot air at all. I have it on hot. Make sure that the AC button's not on and it feels nice and cool. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off the car just so we don't further overheat the vehicle. So obviously we have coolant right here, but um, it's starting to push it back out. Now we can kind of feel pressure. This hose is very hot. Um, just keep in mind, once you squeeze it, you can feel it. And then I have my thumb on it and um, you can kind of feel bubbles pushing it, like so a little vibration. So I have a thermogun and basically you kind of get the temperature of that. So we have 183 degrees. And then where the thermostat's at, so right there, that's the thermostat, and then right here, as you can see, I can actually hold my finger on it, and it feels nice and nice and cool. I mean, well, warm, and not hot, but just warm. So I'm going to go ahead and get my gun right to it. The closer, the better. So I have exactly right on there. So I have 107 degrees, as you can see, so 106, and then right there, that's 197. So this will kind of tell you there's something going on. Um, now, most common issue would be the thermostat. That's the thermostat housing for the Chevy Cruze. Now, obviously, these guys are pretty prone to like overheating on the on the water pump. So right there, um, you can see right there the, they would have a bleeder screw, and you can if you flash a light right there, um, right below it, it'll actually cause a puddle because it'll actually like seat on something to cool it and you can see if the, the water pump is going bad now this car has around like 66,000 miles I believe um, don't remember the exact but um, obviously you have no circulation going throughout the system so which would cause um, I mean which would make it seem like there's air in the system that's why you would have cold air inside the, um, the cabin filter and it's not hot even though the temperature is at operating temperature now this this will be the the reason why it's overheating now um, just be careful if you're gonna open up the system make sure that the whole system cools down because you still have pressure in the system so let it sit for about an, a few hours until it's nice and cold until it's touching so you can touch it well so now if it's if this is squeezable you'll be fine so you'll be good to go you can actually open this up and then you should be fine just kind of open the cap up slowly And then basically you'll be good to go. So once you relieve all the pressure from right there. But you can see how earlier um, it was at the halfway mark. And then with all the back pressure it pushed it right back up. That's just because it's at its boiling point. And it's starting to, um, the, the pressure needs to go somewhere. So obviously this is the only spot where it can escape. Uh, if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions regarding the overheating issue. And then hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future and thanks for watching.